motherfucking tube. It's your boy Rollo Jenkins in here. Yo, let me give my uh my Juan Manuel Marquez versus Timothy Bradley prediction slash response video to my boy Zone Six. Man, oh man, oh man. I haven't watched the second video yet. I just watched the first video. But let me say this. You we alright, first of all, let me just get my prediction out of the way. I'm predicting Timothy Bradley in a 12 round decision. And the reason that I say that is this. Juan Manuel Marquez has always had trouble with athletic fighters since he was a featherweight. Since he was fighting at featherweight, he had problems with the same type of style. Juan Manuel Marquez does not have speed, foot speed. He has very good timing. He's a very accurate puncher. But that shit only works against certain fighters. It's the same kind of shit like uh, Floyd Mayweather fight Mexican fighters. That shit works well against motherfuckers who gonna come straight ahead and no head movement and none of that shit. So, my boy mentioned how Marquez beat Baby Bull Diaz. But you gotta remember, Baby Bull Diaz was winning fucking six out of eight rounds in that fight. You know what I'm saying? It only boiled down to the fact that his ass got knocked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Pacquiao. Even with the knockdown in the last fight, uh, Pacquiao was winning the fight. You know what I'm saying? You take the knockout out of the equation, Pacquiao was winning that fight, almost running away, you know? Juan Manuel Marquez beat uh, Marco Barrera on his way out. Marco Barrera, even though he turned into a lot better boxer toward the end of his career than just a brawler, he still had a very stout Mexican style. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't possess the athleticism that Tim Bradley has. You know what I'm saying? I keep overemphasizing athleticism because it takes a certain amount of athleticism to be able to do certain things in the ring that certain fighters can and certain fighters can't do. You know what I'm saying? Juan Manuel Marquez, yeah, he has pretty good power. You know, we can say that based on the opponents that he's beaten and in the manner that he's beaten. You know, he walked, he knocked out uh, 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 Joel Casamayor. Yeah, he put him on a deck, knocked his ass out the fucking ring. But remember, Casamayor was winning that fight too. Baby Boy Diaz knocked him out. Baby Boy Diaz was winning that fight too. Um, uh, Michael Cassidis. Life and death with Michael Cassidis. He knocked him out, but that fight was back and forth. Michael Cassidis probably was ahead on the scorecards in that fight also. Marquez has a hard time with certain styles. And even though Marquez has been knocking guys out, his best attributes has been his ability to take a punch and his timing. And the fact that the fighters he's fought have all been straight ahead fighters. Baby Bull Diaz, motherfucker didn't have no head movement, didn't know how to take a step back. All he knew how to do was step up and throw 100 punches. Michael Cassidis, same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao, same damn thing. Uh, The best and slickest fighter that Marquez has ever beaten was Joel Casamayor. But if you can remember, if you got, if you want to put this shit in perspective, the same Joel Casamayor who got knocked out by Man- Manuel Marquez is the same Joel Casamayor who got knocked the fuck out by Tim N- Tim No Power Bradley. So how impressive is that knockout? If you saying that Bradley don't have no power, but he knocked out the same guy. Not only did he knock him out, knock out the same guy, he did it more impressively. He swept the four rounds that they fought. And he knocked him out. Juan Manuel Marquez was losing the fight until he knocked out Casamayor. The reason that I believe Bradley will win this fight 
is because he's going in this fight knowing that he can't fight the same style of fight that he fought with Provotnikov. There were spots in the fight where he dominated Provotnikov. The only spots that shit was fucked up for him was when he got hurt by punches because he was standing there trading. I don't think that he'll make that mistake in this fight. And two reasons, three reasons that I think Provotnikov was a harder fight than Marquez will be is one, I don't think that Provotnikov, I think Provotnikov is a a bigger puncher than Marquez is. I think he's faster and better hand speed than Marquez, more athletic than Marquez. And he's younger and has more energy and stamina than Marquez will have. He's a bigger guy than Marquez. So I think that that fight was tough. And the whole coming off the Manny Pacquiao controversial decision shit. I think that all had a whole lot to do with Timothy Bradley in that fight. And the fact that Timothy Bradley was still able to get through that fight and dominate that fight in spots. I believe that he'll come in more disciplined with a better mind frame than he will in his fight with Manuel Marquez. And just like in the Floyd Mayweather fight, it will be very, very hard to counter Tim Bradley because he won't fight that straight ahead pressure fighting style against Juan Manuel Marquez. He won't do that. I don't know, I don't, I don't believe that he will. I believe that he'll box He'll box in a similar fashion that he did with uh, Lamont Peterson. And, um, you know, sure enough, you know, Timothy Bradley does get caught a lot. You know what I'm saying? He's been dropped in many fights. You know what I'm saying? He got dropped in the Junior Witter fight. He got dropped against Kendall Hope. He got dropped against Provotnikov. He got dropped against, um, oh, shit. There was another fight he got dropped in. And he won all of those fights. He's dominated guys in between those knockdowns. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's a little glassy on the chin. Don't get it twisted. But you got to think. Manuel Marquez is not locking out elite fighters. Except for if you want to call, you know, if you want to say Pacquiao, he knocked out Pacquiao. But we know what that could be about. But outside of that, he hasn't knocked out any elite fighters. And not only that, all of those knockouts that he was getting, they were in lower weight divisions. It's going to be a lot tougher and a lot harder to knock out a Timothy Bradley. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So, at welterweight, we don't know what the fuck Juan Manuel Marquez can do. Because he hasn't fought anybody but fucking Manny Pacquiao since 135 pounds. Since he fought at 135 pounds, he had a fight against Michael Cassidis, Joel Casamayor, and Baby Bull... um, Baby Boy Diaz. Those are only three significant fights that he had at 135 pounds. He skipped everybody at 140. Everybody at 140. He didn't fight Brandon Rios, Richard Abril, Mike Alvarado, Terrence Crawford, fucking uh, Jesus Chavez, or fucking, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of guys that he didn't fight at 140. You know what I'm saying? Let alone the fact that he skipped, you know, guys like Amir Khan, Timothy Bradley, Devin Alexander, Lamont Peterson, Lucas Matisse. Uh, At the time, Marcos Maidana. He skipped right over 140 pounds and fought Floyd Mayweather. And since that Floyd Mayweather fight, he ain't fought nobody but fucking Manny Pacquiao. So we... So... To judge him on 147 pounds, you know what I'm saying? We he 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 hasn't fought any top 147 pounders. You know what I'm saying? Who on the fucking top ranked roster has he fought? Hardly anybody. He got four fights with Manny Pacquiao. Four, four fights with Manny Pacquiao, and he only won one. You know what I'm saying? If you want to say he got robbed in all of the other three fights, it's cool. But the fact of the matter is the fights were close enough that Pacquiao got denied. I'm not saying that I agree with it or not. 
But you have to admit that the fights were close. If, in fact, he got two L's in a draw out of four fights. And even in the fight that he did win, he was losing that fight. He was on the verge of getting fucking knocked out. He was getting fucked up pretty bad in that fight before he got the knockout. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't see how we can take what he's done against... Um, Manny Pacquiao and the style that Manny Pacquiao fights and apply that shit to Timothy Bradley I just don't see it you know what I'm saying I just don't see it so in conclusion here is I don't think that Marquez will be able to time Bradley because he's not that brawler he doesn't have a brawling style to counterpunch so I don't think that his counterpunching will be that effective he doesn't have the speed, hand speed, or foot speed to get in position to fuck with Timothy Bradley in an aggressive manner. So I say Bradley winning this fight by decision. I say eight rounds to four, nine rounds to three, and at best, 10 rounds to two. It's your boy, Rollo Jenkins. Get at me. He's six.